So I'm hoping that you clicked on this video because you are just as interested in the Pocket 3 as I am. Well, I'm gonna give you five reasons why the DJI Pocket 2 is still a worthwhile camera to get. So first off, the camera purchase of a DJI Pocket 3 is way out of my price range, especially right now. It is over $500 with just the plain camera and over $600 if you want to get the Creator Combo that includes the great microphone. So with that in mind for me, I needed to come up with a good reason why this was a reasonable camera to get. First off, with that price being said, this camera brand new, the Creator Combo comes in at just under $500. So you're already saving a fair amount to get everything you see included here. And I think the Creator Combo is a great way to go, especially with it getting this particular microphone, which is a great microphone to have. But if that is still out of your price range, maybe go check out my personal favorite website to look, mpb.com, and you can actually get this significantly cheaper. Or check out eBay, Macari. There are always models of this, especially now they are flooding the market. You can definitely find this for cheap, especially in that $200 range, which I think is a significantly better price for this camera. Reason number two is definitely going to be the video options. The Pocket 3 can film at a max of 4K60. This films at a max of 4K60. Now while the Pocket 3 has a much larger sensor and this one cannot compete with that with a 1 over 1.7 inch sensor, I still think that this image is fantastic for the size of camera. You have quite a few filming options with this. Obviously it being 4K, it also has the option of 2.7K and 1080p, all of which film at up to 60 frames a second. With this being on a gimbal, I think the stabilization is remarkably good, obviously because it is a mechanical gimbal. So you're going to have that going for you. And with that being said, even though action cameras have a great electronic stabilization, they are cropping into your image, which is lowering your overall quality. This does not have that issue because it is obviously mechanically stabilized. Reason number four is this is actually a smaller package than the Pocket 3. Look at everything included here. I mean, it is such a beautiful little package and it fits perfectly in your pocket. The Pocket 3 is a much larger camera, which is understandable because it, it does have a lot more packed into it in the base camera body, but this is a still a fantastic camera to throw in your bag and have with you at any point. And finally, reason number five, this is such an easy camera to use. It is as easy as pulling it out of its case, hitting the power on button, letting it say, and then hitting that. It does not take very long at all to get going, and I really love it for that fact. Finally, guys, I guess this is kind of a bonus point, but this is more my opinion on this. This is just such a fun little camera to use, and the fact that it is so pocketable and so easy to just kind of throw into your bag to have on your commute or as a lunch break type of deal, I just love it. I, I think it's a lot of fun to use. It's a lot of fun to bring out. You don't have to worry, especially if you're vlogging, clip this on or buy a cheap little lavalier microphone that you can throw onto your, uh, shirt underneath and then you have a great little vlog setup that doesn't draw that much of attention but the people that know cameras will know exactly what this is and it's always fun to chat with people that know what this camera is and enjoy shooting with it. Anyways guys I think that's going to do it for me today. I hope you enjoyed this little kind of come up thought process, little kind of 
from the seat of my pants. I don't know. I hope you enjoyed this video. I had a lot of fun making it. I just kind of threw together some reasons why I think this is still a reasonable camera to purchase. And honestly, I would absolutely buy this camera again. I am excited to get my chance to uh, play around with the Pocket 3 at some point in the future because I think that is a wonderful camera. But for now, this camera is more than capable for my needs. I definitely want to get out and get some filming done so that I can hopefully make some money off of this. Guys, thank you so much. I do appreciate it. If you enjoyed this video, hit that like button. And if you really enjoyed it, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you can catch more content like this. Maybe. I don't know. Let me know what you guys would like to hear about as well, especially if it's in the photography video scene. Anyways, guys, I hope you have a wonderful one. Thank you so much. I will see you in the next one.